welcome. I'm Dr. Marvin Candle, and this is the orientation film for Station 3 of the Panama Initiative. In a moment, you'll be given a simple set of instructions for how you and your partner will fulfill the responsibilities associated with the station. But first, a little history. The Dharma Initiative was created in 1970 and is the brainchild of Gerald and Karen de Groot, two doctoral candidates at the University of Michigan. Following in the footsteps of visionaries such as B.F. Skinner, imagined a large-scale communal research compound where scientists and free thinkers from around the globe could pursue research in meteorology, psychology, parapsychology, zoology, electromagnetism, and utopian social discursive Danish industrialist and munitions magnet Alvar Hanso, whose financial backing made their dream of a multi-purpose social science research facility a reality. You and your partner are currently located in Station 3, or the Swan, and will be for the next 540 days. The Station 3 was originally constructed as a laboratory where scientists could work to understand the unique electromagnetic fluctuations emanating from this sector of the island. Not long after the experiments began, however, there was an incident. And since that time, the following protocol has been observed. Every 108 minutes, the button must be pushed. From the moment the alarm sounds, you will have four minutes to enter the code in the microcomputer process, induction into the program. When the alarm sounds, either you or your partner must input the code. It is highly recommended that you and your partner take alternating shifts. In this manner, you will both stay as fresh and alert with utmost importance that when the alarm sounds, the code be entered correctly and in a timely fashion. Now, do not attempt to use a computer for any... Congratulations. Until your replacements arrive, the future of the project is in your hands. On behalf of the De Groots, Alvar Hanso, and all of us at the Dharma Initiative, thank you. I must And good luck.